Hi, I'm Chef Amy Hoagie, and I'm here to teach you how to play with food, where I take a classic recipe, change it up a little bit to create a whole new dish. Now today, we're playing with pancakes, actually making homemade banana pancakes. So I've got some bananas cut up right here. You can even use the ones that you throw in the freezer once they get a little brown. Throw them in the freezer, and then they turn really brown, and they're really sweet. You can use that to mix in here like you do banana bread. But today, I've got so about one cup of flour. This is a basic pancake recipe from scratch. One cup of flour, uh, two tablespoons of sugar. Then I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon baking powder. And then I have, actually, stir it up, stir it up. Always wanna make sure you stir up your dry ingredients before you start adding the liquid. Woo, and sometimes I splash it out of the pan, the bowl. Got my pan preheated, my griddle right here. I wanna preheat it to 350. Don't want to turn it too much higher than that. If you turn it on the stove, it's about medium heat. These do take a little longer to cook, um, just because there's a lot more fresh stuff in there. So then what I'm going to do is make a well in the middle so I can see the bottom of that bowl. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour in my one and a quarter cup of butter, fresh buttermilk. This is the key ingredient to fresh pancakes. Not too expensive. Keep it in the fridge. It lasts a long time. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up, beat my egg a little bit. Then add it to the buttermilk. Then I have, actually I'm gonna go ahead and all I do is like fold this in. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up about halfway and then I'm gonna add my bananas because the key to really good pancakes is not to over mix. You want the bubbles, you want some lumps in there. It's very different than the pancake mix that's already made in a box. So that's about where I want it. So it's just about incorporated. And then I'm gonna add, this is about a half of a banana sliced. Sometimes if you add too much banana, it's gonna make it too liquidy and too moist, and then it's gonna be really hard to really cook on the griddle. All right. There we go. Make sure you incorporate the egg. All right. Move away. Don't over mix, then it doesn't taste, they don't taste as good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got, oh, let me spray the pan, the pan with Pam. And then I'm gonna use my, um, it's like a cupcake scoop. I use this for so many different things. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this, fill it up, and then just kinda plop it right on there. This makes about six to eight pancakes. No, it doesn't drip all over. Isn't that nice? So like I said, it's a little bit thicker than the regular pancakes, so don't be surprised if they're not as thin when you, when you cook them on the griddle. Throw them all on there. Mm -mm. You could add cinnamon to these if you wanted. And the last one, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick scrape. There you go. They cook about, they take about, about two minutes on each side to, be, to cook right here. And here is our finished product. Banana pancakes from scratch with homemade with fresh buttermilk. I'm Chef Amy Hoagie, thank you for joining me. For more information, you can check me out on my website at chefamy, that's with two e's, dot com.